Hungary's capital city Budapest is actually made up of three unified cities, with Buda and Obuda on the west bank of the Danube and Pest on the east bank. Much of the city has been granted UNESCO World Heritage Site status, and many visitors consider the city to be amongst the most beautiful cities in Europe. Let's explore the best things to do in Budapest. Number 10. Memento Park This wonderful sculpture park is now home to some of the many communist monuments and statues which dotted the city during the communist era. These statues were either removed by the government as part of the decommunization process, or they were forcibly removed by the Hungarian people in protest at the previous regime. When the park was opened in 1993, it became a place to display some of these monuments and showcase an important part of the city's history. A small museum on site also includes temporary exhibitions about life under the communist regime, including information about the Hungarian secret police. Number 9. Fisherman's Bastion Although the Fisherman's Bastion looks like a medieval monument, it was actually built in the early 20th century in a neo-Gothic style specifically to act as a panoramic viewing platform across the Danube, Margaret Island, and Pest. It is named after the Guild of Fishermen, which was responsible for defending that stretch of the city walls during the Middle Ages. The seven towers of the bastion represent the seven Magyar tribes that helped to settle the Magyar people in the Carpathian Basin. Come at sunset to see a particularly beautiful view of the city. Number 8. Hungarian State Opera House This neo-Renaissance building was first opened in 1884 following a commission from Emperor Franz Joseph. Outside of the building, you can see statues to Ferenc Erkel, composer of the Hungarian National Anthem, and Ferenc Liszt, Hungarian composer. The 1200-seat auditorium is considered to be one of the best in the world for operatic performances, and it is well worth it to buy a ticket to a show. Ticket prices start from as low as 500 feet. If you cannot find time to see a show, guided tours of the opera house are available during the day, although these usually need to be booked in advance. Number 7. St. Stephen's Basilica This basilica is one of the most important religious buildings in Hungary, and visitors to the reliquary can see the, reported, right hand of Stephen, first king of Hungary. As this is a holy site, Visitors who plan on entering the church are asked to keep their knees and shoulders covered. Those with a head for heights can travel up to the base of the dome and look out over the city. On a clear day, this is a great vantage point from which to survey Budapest from the air. Classical music concerts and organ concerts regularly take place inside the basilica and sometimes spill out into the square outside. Number 6. House of Terror The House of Terror holds exhibitions about the successive fascist and communist regimes which ruled Hungary during the 20th century. The building itself was the former headquarters of the fascist Aero Cross Party, and the building was subsequently used as a prison and torture venue by the state security services of Hungary. There is the opportunity to tour some of the prison area in the basement. The exhibition includes information about both regimes, as well as testimonials from some of the victims, as well as exhibitions about the fascist and communist security services. The building often houses other temporary exhibitions. Number 5. Danube Promenade This stretch of the Danube walkway goes from the Elizabeth Bridge to the Chain Bridge and is perfect for those who want a short but interesting walk promenading along the Danube is a great way to see many of the most famous sites in the capital. Looking over towards to Buda side of the river, you will see the Buda Castle the Liberty Statue on Gellert Hill and the Fisherman's Bastion. On the promenade side of the river you can enjoy restaurants, cafes, Sekenii Istvan Square, and a range of different sculptures, including the Little Princess. Number 4. Margaret Island Margaret Island is a 2.5 kilometers long island which sits in the middle of the Danube which is covered in parkland and recreational facilities. There are a number of companies which rent pedal carts, golf carts, and other self-powered vehicles, 
so that you can explore the island properly. A rubber-coated 5.5 kilometers running track encircles the island and is a popular jogging spot for runners who want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. One of the most famous features of the island is the music fountain, from which water regularly dances in time to classical music. Other notable features on the island include medieval ruins and small aviary, which primarily caters for injured water birds and wildfowl. Number 3. Heroes Square Heroes Square, Hosok Tier, which marks the end of Andrasi Avenue is home to an iconic monument which features depictions of the seven chieftains of the Magyars, who are believed to have led the Hungarian people from Central Asia to the Carpathian Basin. Atop the central pillar is the Archangel Gabriel who is holding the Hungarian crown. At either side of the central column are two matching colonnades, which depict a variety of other historical Hungarian figures. The impressive buildings at either side of the square are art galleries. Take care when crossing to the statue, because traffic around the monument can be erratic. Number 2. Gellert Baths One of the grandest spas in the city is the Gellert Bath and Spa Center, which includes an open-air pool, which turns into a wave pool, an effervescent swimming pool, a Finnish sauna, and a range of other saunas and plunge pools. Massages and other spa treatments are also available at an extra fee. The complex was originally built between 1912 and 1918 in an Art Nouveau style, but it sustained serious damage during World War II. The whole spa was extensively renovated in 2008 to bring the baths back to their former glory. The baths are open all week for mixed bathing. Number 1. Parliament Building The Hungarian Parliament Building, which was designed and built in the Gothic Revival style, is one of the largest buildings in Hungary and is home to hundreds of parliamentary offices. Although the impressive building looks fantastic from every angle, to see the whole building in its full glory, it is worth viewing it from the other side of the Danube. Tours of certain areas of the building are available daily and run in different languages. You will need identification to get in, and your bag may be searched on entry.